everyone it's happy mail queen i am back i do have a project share for you guys a halloween project uh once again using the sweet and spooky doodle bug um and i did use just the six by six paper pad um a couple of doodle or maybe just one of the doodle pops and some of the odds and ends some stickers so anyway um, I also use a KS Craft die. Um, I use this one right here. I got this about three weeks ago from Amazon. I think it was about three weeks ago. And um, um, I went ahead and created the pumpkin basket mini. It's so cute, you guys, and it's a pretty good size. As you can see my hand there. Um, so, yeah, I think it's six. Is it six inches almost six inches in height um, but anyway um, I made a mini album and it is um, it does come with some word dice as well as the base so uh, the only thing I didn't use basically I, I think I didn't use this one I didn't bother with that and that's the layering piece for the right here for the top of the cauldron and then I didn't use the face because I wanted uh, mine to be cutesy and um, but everything else I used so uh, yeah let me go ahead and show you my first project um, and then I also made another project using a different die and I used this one right here from Lori Whitlock and this one is called the double double tote so I didn't use all the pieces, but these also come with some word dies as well. This one I think has friend and celebrate. Uh, this one right here, sorry, I shared this before, but on this uh, KS Craft die it has uh, the word boo, scary, and candy. So I did cut those. Okay, so anyway, first I'm going to show you my mini. I think it came out so cute and. Um, for the face, I was inspired actually by one of the doodle bug, um, one of the um, cut up parts here. And you see that? <laughs> it's a little pumpkin basket. That's what I wanted to make, that kind of face. I want it to be really cutesy. So I basically f just kind of followed this as um, my. Uh, my guide <laughs> and that's how I created this so I thought it was really cute and then I put some fibers here um, to bind it oops that came off um, I did use some um, some rings and I think these are the 15 millimeter rings from um, from Hobby Lobby and they're just they're just jump rings but they're the heavy gauge jump rings and then I used my scrubbies here and then this came off, but um, I actually have this on a garment pin. I have this like purplish garment pin, and I just stuck it out. I just put it in one of the jump rings here, um, just for it to hang like that. And you guys have seen my my charms before because I shared that, so. Anyway, that's how the front looks like, you know, because I wanted it to look like a basket with the um, fun, um, these are doodle pops right here, and then some of them are stickers, and um, some of the ephemera, or odds and ends. And then I did make, how many pages, I think it's a total of six pages, could be seven, um, but anyway. So this side I left blank, you know, I didn't mat it or anything because I'm not going to put any pictures. I like this to be just kind of a decorative um, area. And then this one here, this is where I'll put the picture. What's nice about this, um, and it kind of looks like a cauldron here, but what's nice about this pumpkin basket is it, there's a space right here. So you can decorate up on top, right? So I just put some little ephemeras in there which I'll probably pull some of it out but um, and then I can still I still have this space right here um, to mat a picture 
and um, there's that boo word and I just put it on one of the acetate pieces and then I have another ghosty here that um, I'll probably you know glue these down but for now they're not and um, the next page so I, I uh, didn't adhere this part you know j just so I can um, stick some you know ephemeras and whatever else I want to put there um, and so as you can see here I did use some of the odds and ends and then there's that word candy that's part of the you know the die set and then I put a little pirate here and it says treats and then here I have another little pirate and it's um, I did put a mat on this one for my picture and this mat is I want to say three and a half by three and a half where is my ruler so you can definitely use a three and a half by three and a half um, square mat or you could even use a longer you know like if you wanted to do a, a portrait mode picture you can actually even put a four four inch I think a four inch would fit on here um, tall anyway this is one of the um, chit chats here in it for the candy and then I put a little candy sticker there and I put this sticker here um, and like I said I can just put a picture there and then this one I left blank again and then here I can put another picture and this is part of the chit chat again and the sticker and then um, I put a couple of a few ghosties in there so so easy to decorate um, and then here I made another pumpkin basket and I used one of the odds and ends here's that word scary and then I just put some more I might take some of these out but um, for now they're in there and these are just all the uh, uh, odds and ends characters so cute and then this one says ghouls night and this I didn't actually adhere because I just wanted to show you you can use a two and a half by three and a quarter three and three quarter inch mat so I can put a picture this way or I can put a picture this way so that also works oh how did I have it I think I just did it this way like that so I can put my picture first and then go ahead and adhere this afterwards and one of the chit chats there goes a night out and then here this is also not adhered down but um, this one is a bigger one I think this is probably the biggest square that you can fit on this album and this one is a 4x4 so you can actually mat a 4x4 picture this is one of the acetate pieces I put a spider one of the doodle pops and then here's another um, chit chat uh, piece here that says happy Halloween and I did use some of the I don't remember if this is chit chat or sprinkles but these stars um, those are just some of the stickers they're like epoxy stickers and then here is my little witchy page I am under your spell I put a couple of bats there um, this uh, odds and ends and these are all my little witchies and also this um, uh, the tree here and a haunted house I just kind of stuck there um, So in this in this way I can just put a picture here but leave this part because I don't like putting a picture and a picture because you know they end up kind of sticking together sometimes um, super cute I love this uh, die set and this one's all about pumpkins so carving pumpkins pumpkin contest and again this one um, I didn't put I didn't adhere it yet but 
this is this measures three by four and a quarter so if you want to um, like put a picture going this way this is a good size the three and four and a quarter mat and I just made a little little pocket here so when I'm ready to put the picture then um, then I can adhere this down and that's it and then the back looks like that I think this is so cute and it's so roomy and if I change the rings I could even add a lot more pages I can probably put like eight or ten pages but this one is a total of one two three four five six this is seven pages including the front and back cover and then the front and back cover I did make it nice and sturdy so I did double the 110 pound cardstock that I used um, just to make it nice and sturdy so isn't this adorable I love how this album came out and hopefully my kids I think they're gonna dress up this year for Halloween so <laughs> my um, young adults <laughs> they'll um, they'll take some pictures and then I can put it in there all right and then my next project that I want to share with you is I finally um I've had this forever for a really really long time I, I might have used it once but um, that was about it but I did want I don't even know if I used it once I might have just bought it and then um, I didn't even like put it together um, but anyway um, I decided to go ahead and um, create this so that I can hold um, some coffee um, um, the Keurig um, K cups. So this is perfect. I mean, it's a little, it's a little big, but it fits in there, and it's not gonna come off. So um, let me just show you. That's how it looks like. Um, this you guys have seen. It's that flag um, die Halloween flags from KS Craft. I've already shared that one. I've already shared this tag here last. I think it was on my last video and I just put it here I hung it um, so basically to put this die set together you have to cut two of each let me show you the die it actually has um, this is a really old die but you cut two pieces of this and then um, you know this part folds and this part folds and then you adhere from here to here you adhere back to back and then you have um, the side which is this like house looking piece here that's the side you cut those twice so you got cut this twice and cut this twice this is the layering piece so that's the purple paper that you see there but this part here is the base and that's where you glue the flaps um, the flaps that this creates right here these flaps anyway um if you have this die or if you want to get this die i don't know if they still have them around but um uh, lori whitlock her channel on YouTube she has a tutorial on how to put it together I believe it was the Lori Whitlock one that I was looking at there's a tutorial on YouTube I know on how to put this together but um, so cute so yeah that's I just you know so easy to put together it's a little caddy and um, there's so many things that you can fit in here you can put like little um, like bottles like a <laughs> If, if you know your friends are into beauty products you can um, put some um, nail polish in there you know you could put a, a little bottle of sequins candy but I really wanted to put the pumpkin spice latte uh, pumpkin spice um, Keurig coffee in there and then for um, again the paper I used is the doodlebug sweet and spooky and this here this was perfect this little sign right here the trick-or-treat 
Um, that comes from the Chit Chats. You have these, they give you six of these um, round pieces there that have a sentiment on it. And yeah, there's two, four, six in there. And it was perfect to put here. So this one says trick or treat. I made another one. This one here it says hello pumpkin. And then I, I put a different um, uh, tag. So yeah, these are ready to go. Because I'm, I'm going to meet up with a couple of my friends this weekend. And, um, you know, just a little something to give them before Halloween. And that's it, you guys. Those are my projects for uh, this week. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And um, I'll see you on my next video. Alright, guys. Bye.